What's up everybody, hope you all are doing great and the topic of this video is how to use NVIDIA. We're going to speak about NVIDIA online video editor. It's like full course, you'll be able to use all the features after watching and the aim of this video is to make you like advanced user of NVIDIA.io. So here we are on this platform and as you can see, I don't even have like an account. So we'll begin from scratch. But as you can see in the top of the screen, we can find some more information, some additional information. What's really interesting is that like the templates, explore stuff, learn, and also we can find all the prices right up here. We'll discuss them a little bit later, but let's begin from the abilities and video provides us to use as you can see like we have a lot of templates like marketing video tutorial templates business templates youtube templates and so on if we we'll try to open them we can easily find a lot of uh, different like stuff here different formats for different platforms so sometimes it could be really helpful if you want uh, to use like something like this just simply change your text and you'll be able to create your own like uh, post to Instagram, for example, or for your ads. And sometimes it could be really helpful if you don't want to spend a lot of time, you don't want to spend a lot of energy to create something new. So you can find a lot of them. As you can see in the left side, we can find different filters like slideshow templates, bumper ad templates, and so on. We'll try to go to business videos, for example. As you can see, we can also find a lot of like ads here, you can use this video for your ads that are totally like copyright free or something like this. And also in the left side menu, we have uh, like different uh, formats like for food, for restaurant, and it could be really helpful. You can try to find something suitable as for you here, even like baby video templates, you can find them right up here, quote templates, break and use and so on. So. We can, we can find like a YouTube video, slideshow, outro video, intro video, advertisement, real estate, social media. And we can uh, like try to view all as you can see like fashion, food, educational and so on. So it's like really interesting that NVIDIA provides us the opportunity to interact with this stuff. We can also find a lot of like other like information here. We can see that NVIDIA provides us the opportunity to use like online video maker. We can use it like as an intro maker, outro maker, slideshow, video, ad maker, YouTube intro maker, birthday video maker. If you want to like create compilation, for example, or something like this, Instagram video editor and invasional maker. So it's, it's like really like cool I think we can also like use their mobile app as we can see we can find it through App Store or Google Play uh, the navigation is the same so let's uh, like just simply log in I'm going to click on log in because I already have an account in my Google so basically you can also like create an account through your Google stuff and nothing hard uh, will come to the next page uh, but uh, simply we need to answer for some of the questions like what defines your role best you can answer like anything you want I'd like to answer like a filmmaker for example let's click on continue uh, skip for now and I'm going to answer YouTube because I'm creating videos for YouTube so yeah after a small like uh, number of different questions will come to our interface where we can find all the stuff uh, we can use as you can see um, nvidia provides us the opportunity to use like four different options to create video we can use a template so we can use ai text to video stuff and also we can interact with stock media and editor inside of nvidia Let's take a look at every single part here. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you that if we'll click on templates, we'll come to the page we already like so, but now it's in a little bit other like interface. We can in the right side, we can find a lot of uh, templates, uh, like uh, basically they're like suggested, but we can also find uh, filters in the left side menu so we can filter them through like aspect ratio. We can choose like only landscape if you want to create videos only for example for our YouTube or maybe some other platforms with landscape format or we can use like square square uh, if you are going to create for example Instagram post or Instagram ad or something like this 
and also like portrait for different TikTok, uh, Instagram Reels, maybe like Snapchat and YouTube Shorts and some other stuff here. Basically, they're available right up here. We can also choose a type. So I'm going to use landscape. And as you can see, we have a type here like promos, ads, uh, listen calls, slideshows, hails and offers, greetings, motion posters and so on. So in order to interact with some uh, templates, we just simply need to click on the template. Um, as you can see, like, we like also have like interesting stuff like events and holidays, fashion, e-commerce. So let's try to use maybe e-commerce, uh, motion posters and landscape format together. And I'm going to use this um, template to show you as an example. It will also like find other stuff, but as you can see, it looks like this. I can easily click on use template. And in a few seconds, we will come to next page. It's like our editor here where we can interact with every single part of the project. And uh, you need to know that it may take a little time when everything will be uploaded, but basically we'll come to our editor. So let's take a quick uh, tutorial, like quick um, interface tutorial a review uh, how we can we use different stuff basically in the left side menu we have a main uh, menu where we can switch between different instruments we have like a plots option where we can upload different files it could be like videos photos music and so on on videos area we can find a lot of stock footages uh, where basically we can use um, like them for free or sometimes we need to buy them and we can also use like search bar for example if you want to find let's be like tnt stuff maybe some like uh stuff related with boom or like this yeah as you can see we can find easily it's right up here we can use like also image stock if it's necessary as for us different animals landscapes and so on everything we can try to find in the internet is available right up here and it's pretty cool as for me because in this case we can like use them and uh, like um, don't we don't have to spend our time while uh, trying to search it through internet also there is like a huge uh, video uh, like music library with uh, different mods genres and so on like angry serious playful inspiring sad relaxing happy and so on in order to open we just simply need to click on the necessary stuff and as you can see we can now listen for every single music and if it's necessary we can easily add it on our timeline in order to add elements on our timeline we just simply need to click on them and then just drag and drop on our timeline right up here the same stuff for example with pictures and so on uh, in this case i'm going to show you how to interact with uh, like our with an existing templates but you need to know that you can build your own like videos from scratch by simply using this stuff or you can upload your own files we can also interact with a text as you can see we can find like different uh, text uh, formats text templates some of them are even animated so it will be easy for us to add them to our basically uh, like um play stuff to our timeline to our player and to see as you can see like a lot of like trendy stuff astons and so on and what's interesting is that we can easily try to use them for free also like logo stuff where we can interact with our branding if it's necessary as you can see in the right uh, top corner we can easily add our logo i'm going to delete it because i don't want to add some brand info inside of my video and also we can interact with our elements where we can find a lot of different stickers shapes overlays masks and so on sometimes it would be really helpful as for us if you want to add some additional effects to your video i don't really like um know how to use it correctly because i don't have like enough experience but you can try to implement them into your video and it's like it could like increase the attention to your videos to your presentations to your slideshows and so on and also we can switch between different templates as you can see you can still like manage uh, different filters and so on so let's take a look to our right side as you can see we have a player here and also we can find our timeline in the bottom of the screen where we have a couple of options we can play and pause our video we can also add different sounds we can add like blank sand from template and so on and we have two important um 
important options is like show layers where we can interact with every single element and as you can see when I clicked on show layers uh, my this window uh, disappeared so it's appeared inside of the timeline because uh, here where you can find all the elements we can easily click on every single element they will be displayed on our timeline and they will be like highlighted on our player icon so it will be easy for us to interact with every single object inside of this stuff so basically as for me it's more convenient it's more useful to interact with this stuff because if we are going to take a look at number of the elements we can find that there is like at least 10 stuff here and it's not that useful to work because if we have this window here we can easily click find how does it look like if it's necessary as for us we can even change the name for example uh, I can easily like change this stuff to like one this one to three if I can easily remember every single element and then it will be easy for me to interact with them so uh, if you want to resize some stuff we can do it through these um, like element here we can change duration because if you click we can easily find them already here we can change the duration we can change some additional stuff you click with the right side uh, mouse we can like move back move front rename duplicate or delete so as you can see nothing hard and basically also in the top of the screen right up here if you click on every single element we can find different options we can change so as you can see we can fill color, we can add animation and if I'm going to click on for example this media here we can fit, we can crop, we can trim, we can speed, we can loop, we can flip add effects, uh, change some position, add animation and you need to know that basically it works the same in the same way as like some other video editors like Clipchamp, CapCut and basically um, all the instruments are the same so for example we can try to flip and as you can see now it, it's like really easy to understand how will it work we can loop if it's necessary we can change the speed for example so let's try to look how will it look like yeah, as you can see, speed was uh, really increased. We can trim if it's necessary. So if you click on trim, we can now change the uh, duration like this, like this. I can I can easily click on add, and now our duration was automatically changed. So sometimes it could be not that easy to understand. You just simply need to, to experience all this stuff because interface could be a little bit hard to understand at the beginning. But after you'll practice for a little, everything will be okay and pretty easy to understand as for you. So also we have two options. We can undo and redo our actions. For example, if you want to delete some changes from your project, you can just, sim you can just simply click on this icon right up here and you'll be able to delete or like undelete all this stuff. And as you can see, we can also switch from storyboard to collaborate and to some other stuff. Like, for, for example, like storyboard interface looks like this. As you can see, we have a couple of options here. Also like editor and collaborate. So now we can share, uh, we can like export or share this stuff if it's necessary as for us. But as you can see, it says like upgrade to export. It means that in order to export our video, we need to explain, we need to find uh, some other like uh, basically paid plans. We're going to click on upgrade to export. We can find like uh, two options. We can use monthly subscription or early. Uh, like basically monthly is like $30 per month and $60 per month. Uh, if we'll try to compare them to uh, like with different parameters, we can find that the only like important different here is like uh, the uh, that uh, if you're going to use business stuff, you're going to have like 60 HD video exports per month instead of unlimited. And also uh, we have some differences in a number of stock media and remove background uh, options per month. But basically if you want to use like business, you can remove background in other like uh, instruments, for example, Adobe Express and uh, some other stuff. So let's uh, close this project and, and I want to show you how to use AI text to video feature. Basically, we are already like uh, walk through template stuff, stock media 
and also like editor because editor looks the same so we'll just simply have to create our project from scratch but the navigation is the same as you can see so if i click on ai text to video we'll come to next page where we can find a couple of uh, different uh, templates we can use to create our videos for example uh, and as you can see we have like different like designs or styles and uh, you can choose it from this page uh, here we can scroll down we can change from through like aspect ratio landscape squares pay square or portrait and basically i would like to create the landscape area and i have this text here i'm going to use this article about like bread is it useful so we need to find something related with food maybe or something related with this tam so i think i'd like to use uh basically i'd like to use i'd like to use uh something right up here so let's try to use maybe uh this video here so i'm going to click and as you can see now we can find the preview and i can easily click on use template so now i'd like to add this i'd like to add this article right up here as you can see we can also ask ai to write your script you can write for example write article article about bread i'm going to click on generate and about about bread so something went wrong sometimes so there could be like some different problems and i'm going to click on create sense and uh, it asks us do we want to rearrange our like article into different sentences so it will be easy for the ai to create a sense i'm going to click on yes and now we can click on create a sense once more and as you can see it may take a little time until everything will be uploaded and everything will be basically worked with now it's like generates our sense as you can see almost there stand by and all we need to do now is just simply wait and uh, you need to know that like background um, images uh, they could be related with our pro with our like uh, text here so now it looks like this in the left side we can also find the same menu we have by the way we can find a sand here and we can interact with every single sand inside of the uh, inside of the our editor so we can click on edit sand and it will open it to our like editor we already know everything about like our timeline layers voiceovers and so on and in order to go back we can just simply click on storyboard we'll come to the storyboard mode where you can like scroll down and find how does it look like every single sand looks like this it looks like basically it looks like a presentation uh, with um, some additional text and sometimes instead of a static background we can find our like uh, dynamic videos or something like this with an additional text and the style of the text basically related with the templates we are going to use so if you want to use like um, some other styles this um, a sand will look a little bit different so we have a couple of options we can interact with the sands we can edit sand to go to editor we can duplicate if we would like to use the same background or we can delete sand if you don't want to use this text anymore or something like this we can also add some additional media if we want and basically we can like change the duration here if it's necessary as for us so we'll change like uh it's like second by second and so on as you can see now our sand looks like this and uh, basically in order to export our like ai generated text we also need to interact with upgrade options so if we we'll click on upgrade we can see that basically we can use like $30 per month plan and $60 per month and what's interesting if we're going to speak about their pricing so we can also find some different coupons as you can see like save 25 saves us 25% uh, of uh, billings and it's really like interesting I think we can also try to find some other stuff and from this page here uh, we can also interact with our profile dashboard projects brand, uh, brand presents team settings subscription plan and pro stuff if we click on our profile we can see our like 
email, we can see some links, uh, we can add if we want to share it with someone and also we can go to dashboard to find our projects, uh, we can interact with my projects on this page here, but yeah. Basically, I think after this video, you'll understand every like stuff about invideo.io and I hope this course helped you to understand how does it work and it will be easy for you to start with Nvidia. And now you know a lot about this online video editor. You can write your questions in the comments below. I'll try to answer for all of them. And I hope guys this video helped you out, so leave a like, subscribe and goodbye.